up my neighbors. Epic Mafia. I'm a clown. It looks like I'm a fool, but I'm not a fool. I'm a clown, and I'm gonna kill Mary. What? Oh god, she was nursed again. Oh, I'm stupid. I should have. Should have fucking. Should have fucking. Should have fucking killed the nurse first, I suppose. Shit. Ugh. I made a bad counterclaim. I claimed that I didn't drunk Mary, but Mary was the detective and was um, roll blocked, so. I don't know, somehow they didn't figure out that that means that I'm lying, but. Well. I don't know. You got me. Maybe a bit too towned by. <laughs> 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 Ty Lopez. So. Oh yeah. So I actually had an idea for today's video. About what to talk about. Other than Epic Mafia. And that is that I was, when I was gonna do. First uh, I was gonna do a ranking of. Weezer's debut album. Of the songs on the debut album of Weezer. And Pinkerton. Um, so, so, I, so I rate. So I rank the songs on the Weezer's debut album, eponymous debut album, and then I rank um, Pinkerton's songs. And I do these separately, album by album, I don't do them together. But then uh, I'm gonna do a comparison, uh, track by track, My Name is Jonas versus Tired of Sex, etc. Um, just like Nintendo Capri Sun did. So that's what I've been planning. Uh, I was thinking about it last night. I was trying to go to sleep last night, but I couldn't. I was just thinking about Weezer. I was I was ranking them in my head, and I was also comparing them in my head. And I got through it all, and I made even like I even made like arguments up in my head for why I did it. Yeah. So pretty much I've already done this, but now I'm going to do it on uh, camera. So... <sighs> I'm about to do something really stupid. I don't know if I should do it, but... um, hmm. I don't know. So... Oh wow, I'm quite, quite zoomed in. Wait, could I have been more zoomed in? Yeah. That's good. I guess. Still, my profile picture hasn't changed, even though I changed it. Okay. And, okay, let's start then. Uh, how am I going to do this ranking? Um, I was going to do it from, like, lowest to highest, but I should probably do it from highest to lowest. Because that's the most intuitive to me. Okay. I'll do it from highest to lowest then. So like my favorite songs first. Okay, Weezer Eponymous Blue album debut. For the best song. Say it ain't so. Yup, say it ain't so. What can I say? Tremendously good. I love how it goes so much heavier in the chorus compared to the verses. That's cool. And um Guitar melody, tremendously nice. They, it has like three gu different guitar melodies and they're all great. And... You know, nice bass line, nice bass tone, you know, and... Um, good stuff. And how in the third verse... This way... It's a one that's on a way for me, detective for the every day. It goes like way faster there, and that's really interesting. That's a nice part. So yeah. Number two. No one else. Ah boy, I tell ya. Very interesting, uh, very interesting chord progression. Uh, very interesting chords with all these like... 
um, it goes w with different bass notes. It changes like do 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 do, like it goes in the in the main riff, like in the first riff of the intro. Uh, it goes from an E five chord to an E five over E flat or D sharp rather. Sorry. Shut up. Um, yeah, so tremendously interesting chord progression. Uh, it, go, it goes... It does like an A5 chord and then A5 over G sharp. And then it does a B5 chord and then a B5 over A. So it does all these interesting things with like the bass notes. And uh tremendously good uh, melody, you know. And it's a pretty boring melody, um rhythmically, I'll say. But for some reason it's still interesting. I mean I still enjoy it, even though it's rhythmically very boring. It just goes oh, I want a girl. Like it's incredibly rhythmically boring, and yet it's still good, for some reason. And nice uh, guitar melody as well, uh, and yeah, nice little variations in like length, like uh, the pre-chorus changes in length. <laughs> Is that for anyone? So it goes from four, uh, four measures to eight measures. Like it's four measures the first time, and then like the second and third time, it's eight measures. So that's that's cool, and how they do all these like, um. First time it's like never leaves the house, and then the second and third time it's like never leaves the ha 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 house, and like so it's like a different river does a <laughs> I call him river because that's hilarious uh, does like a different kind of um, rhythm there uh, over the backup singer and the backing vocals and speaking of backing vocals. The high pitched Matt Sharp in the chorus, tremendously good, I tell you. And also, um, that Brian Bell guy, I can especially hear him in the last chorus, I believe. And furthermore, uh, also, um, like the first two choruses, it's like when I'm away, she puts her makeup on the shelf. When I'm away, she never leaves. I want a girl who laughs for no one else. But then in the final chorus, it's a lot more high pitched. When I'm away, she puts her makeup. Like, he he goes like higher pitched in the final chorus. And also, I want a girl who laughs for no one else. No one else. Yeah. So it, it has a lot of good variations, both in melody, so it never gets repetitive. And it also has a tremendously um, busy chord progression, like I mentioned. Tremendously good song, I tell you. Okay.
Um, okay, number three. The world has turned and left me here. Now, I used to hate this song. I heard about how Nintendo Capri Sun considered this his favorite song. Or at least once upon a time he did. No, he, he did. Current day. The world has turned and left me here. He considered it his favorite song on the Weezer Eponymous Blue debut album. And I, I was like, what? It sucks. The world has turned and left me here. Like, it's so repetitive. It's so repetitive. But I listened to it a few more times and I realized that it's actually really good. It has a nice uh, guitar melody. And then and at, towards the end of the song, they do this layer in the background. Do you believe what I sing now? They add that, and that melody is really good. So at least there's that. And besides, after a few more listens, the, the well is turning left me here. Like the main melody isn't even that annoying, I guess. Okay, and uh, do I have anything else to say about it? Not really. That's about it. It's a good, good freaking song, I tell you. Number four. Buddy Holly, I think. Buddy Holly is pretty good. Uh, has a nice melody. Main melody, you know, and... Uh, and it... It is actually the first Weezer song I ever listened to, uh, and that was in 2018. That was two years ago almost, and uh, yeah. So that was. So I used to try to play that on the ukulele, and I played all the chords wrong.
fuck is happening? Thank you. So, Buddy Holly, um, nice uh, baseline as well. Um, it's really subtle. Um, he plays the fifth notes of the chords in the verses. Uh, you can barely hear it because uh, the baseline is so quiet. But so that's sad. But it's still there, so that's cool. And a nice drum fill uh, at the end of the song. And in the final chorus, uh, they go, I don't care what they say about us anyway. So like, there's like this different interval there uh, than usual. I think it's a different interval. I'm not sure. I, I think it's a different interval. It sounds like it. Uh, you know, with the backing vocals and uh, the main vocals clashing uh, in a nice way. So that's really cool. That's like my favorite part of the song. I used to really like the guitar melody, but it's not that good. Like the second guitar melody, not the do 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 do. That's not the one I'm referring to. So number five. What the fuck? What the fuck? I told you it was after a oh, fuck you guys. Oh yeah, no kidding. Okay, number five. Which one is number five? I forgot. Oh, I think I remember now. It's holiday, isn't it? There's a nice melody there, I guess. Uh, the main reason I like this song is just because of heart beat, heart beat, heart beat. But that's about it. It's not a good song. I guess I like it. The part where it goes quiet is a nice ride cymbal and the kind of a nice bass tone. Or I guess it's not. I don't know if it's a bass tone or a guitar tone, but whatever. It sounds like bass, but it's like a nice, like a muted sound. It sounds pretty cool. But it's not a very good song. Nope. Number six. Undone. I think it's undone now. Wait. 
No, 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 it's in the garage now. In the garage. It's not a good song. Um, it's a similar thing here where like the the melody rhythm, the melody is so rhythmically boring. In the, in the garage, I feel so no one knows my words. Like, it's incredibly boring. And just like so cringy, the lyrics. I don't know. Kind of a nice guitar melody though. Number seven, Undone. Undone sucks. It sucks. So badly. It's like, I hate the way they pronounce away. Pull this thread as I walk away. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's away, not away. I don't understand. Uh, it's kind of a nice uh, guitar melody, though. And I'm not referring to the main one. I'm referring to the one which starts... Like, how long to the song? Yeah, the one which starts two minutes in. Which is distorted. I like the part where it goes... The part at 2.20. So that part is kind of cool. But that's about it. And like, lying on the floor, I've come undone. That part is kind of cool, but not really. Then we also have, okay, number seven, no, number eight. Only in dreams. This song sucks. Like, that's kind of a cool bass line, but it's so repetitive. The rest of the song just sucks. Like, it, they do these guitar, they do, they do these, um, uh, I'm just gonna join this one. Like, they they start. This is really weird. And and they started the song. They.
Oh, I... My microphone was still muted. Well, I just said... Jävla idiot. To someone on the Ungdomar.sc forum. But anyway. What the fuck? Dude! Oh my god! I can't fucking believe this. Why did you shoot him? He's stupid. So, in Only in Dreams, they do this weird thing. They start playing these um, acoustic guitar chords at the start of the song. But, like, they barely even sound like chords. Like, they sound all so, like, muddy. And, like, they barely sound any different. It's like, it's weird. I can't believe this. can't believe this. Um, okay, thank you.
At least they trust me. Um, they seem to trust me. Uh, I don't think the, the Bruiser is going to get them to turn around. And GG next game. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, whom do I not trust? Vicente. He is not siding with the Mafia. Come on, dog nuts. What the f- Dog nuts. <laughs> Epic Mafia highlights. Well, hey, at least they don't seem to mind. But I mean, then again, this is a public forum, so I guess it's different. Any China in here? Coronavirus. Oh, shut up. Okay. Um, only in dreams. It's so boring. It's so repetitive. It's so uninteresting. Someone says that, like, oh, the lyrics on it are really, like, dark or something, or, like, deep or something, but I, I never bought it. I mean, I checked it, like, once, but, like, it wasn't interesting. Uh, I don't understand. <sighs> um. There's like this interesting part where it goes quiet and like the ride symbol starts slowing down and then it starts speeding up again. So that's kind of interesting. So, yeah. In fact, it kind of makes me wonder if maybe it... No, 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 it's not better than Undone. Only in Dreams sucks. It's so long too. And boring. Number nine. Surf Wax America. Man, this song is stupid. I'm going surfing. I'm going surfing. So repetitive. So boring. So stupid. Then there, there's, there's like this part where it goes quiet and it's so boring. So stupid. The lyrics are cringe inducing. It's so boring. There's there's no redeeming quality of it, pretty much. There's, there's nothing good about it. Number 10, My Name is Jonas. I, I was listening to this song earlier today. I've only listened to it like four times or something. But uh, it's so, so boring. Latin does not have a word for yes or no. 
That is weird. Difficult indeed. Actually, let me leave this uh, game now and join this one with the doctor because I want to I want to save someone as doctor so I can so I can uh, propose marriage. Oh my god, why? Why are y'all leaving? What should I join? I don't know what I want to join. I, I don't like any of these setups. I guess I'll join this one. I'm gam I'm gambler again. Star lesbian. Oh sh oh yeah. Let's do rock. Whoa, she won. Whoa, 16. I'm dumb, she's a lesbian. I'm gonna talk about that song pretty soon here, but. Okay. My name's Jonas. It just fucking sucks. Lyrics and name of the song tremendously cringe-inducing. Uh, I I just don't understand it. It's so like stupid. There's no there's nothing interesting in the song whatsoever. Like I don't know, maybe I just haven't listened to it enough times. But there's really like nothing in it. It's just a blur. It's just stupid. Ah, oh, it's so stupid. Well, there you have it. There's my ranking of. The the blue album. Now let's do Pinkerton, and let me save this document. I'm doing a text document here on the side. Okay, Pinkerton, number one, no other one. No other one is a tremendously good song because it's um it has a very nice guitar melody in the verses. Especially the second verse. And I'm talking about... I'm not going to be able to sing this. Okay. 
dun, 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 something like that. It has a very nice uh, guitar melody, especially in the second verse. And that's about it. Uh, it has a pretty good chorus, I guess. Uh, it's alright. But it's mostly just that guitar melody which makes it the best song, I'd say. That's about it. Um, yeah, so maybe it's not number one. Uh, I think I'm gonna make it number one. But I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, I guess it's number one. It is just like a really good guitar melody. Number two, Pink Triangle. I'm dumb, she's a lesbian. I thought I had found the one. A uh, tremendously good song. Um, yeah, just like a tremendously good, uh, you know, vocal melodies. And... Okay, let's gambler let's gamble with PP H sixty nine. So Yeah, the Pink Triangle, uh nice uh, guitar melody too, I guess. And for like how the th the third chorus they do like a a different uh guitar rhythm. Dum 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 Nice uh, drumming as well there. And also a really, really nice bass line on this one. Nice, like, it's almost like a walking bass line in the verses. It's a very, very nice bass line. So there you have it. Number three Across the Sea. That kind of rhymed. Oh my god, they they tied again. Across the Sea is tremendously good. So like, first of all, this time actually relatable lyrics. I mean, who isn't interested in 18 year old Jap girl? Let me, let me, I, I need to look up the exact lyrics there, because I don't really know what he talks, when he talks about the envelope. I don't know what he's talking about at that point exactly. So I sniff, and I lick, your envelope and fall to little pieces every time. I wonder what clothes you wear to school. I wonder how you decorate your room. I wonder how you touch yourself and curse myself for being across the sea. Why are you so far away from me? I need help in your way across the sea. Oh, she's back. Tremendously uh, relatable lyrics, actually, <laughs> which is pretty cringy of me to be saying, but uh, yeah. And how I don't really understand this, but um, hmm.
Wait, really? Nah, they're not talking about Gambler. Wait, what? Oh! It protects but also hooks. Interesting, I, I didn't actually know that. Wait, I did know that. Didn't I? But that's the difference between a nurse and a doctor. Interesting. That is weird. But, <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay, I'm gonna do Star Lesbian again, and this time I'll do Rock again. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again? Dapper. Okay, sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm Gambler. Oh, she really was a clown. Okay, now I'm gonna do Harry Martin. Now then, uh, carry on. Okay, Across the Sea has a tremendously nice bass tone. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's like, it has like a way louder bass than like any other track on the album. Is it just me or is, uh, is the bass on Across the Sea like way louder? It feels like it. And it has a really nice uh, guitar melody. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo.
Across the seat, nice guitar melody, like I said, and And then there's like, yeah, no shit. I pretty much admitted it, not knowing that I wasn't supposed to. But I'm kind of tired of being all secretive. Ugh! Just saw a cringy comment of mine from like years ago on Genius.com. Keep, people keep liking this comment. He has 18 likes. It's on the song Green Day, Youngblood. I said, I knew I wasn't the only one getting a She's a Rebel vibe from this song. Like, shut up. Shut up, dude. Okay. Then there's like this lyric. At 10, I shaved my head and tried to be a monk. I thought the older women would like me if I did. You see, Ma, I'm a good little boy. Good little boy. It's all your fault, Mama. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. So, I don't know what that's all about. Let me, let me, let me look at the actual explanations here on genius.com very informative yes And then there's like a variation. Here's this is a um, point which Nintendo Capri Sun brought up in his video uh, about how uh, Across the Sea has a very interesting um, melodic rhythm in the chorus. Why are you so far away from me? It's like it skips the downbeat, and then, because if it were less interesting, it would be, Why are you so far away from me? Like, it lands on the downbeat, and funnily enough, that's actually what it does in the final chorus. They switch it up and make it land on the downbeat. Uh, though that's pretty cool, because it's like, it's a variation, I guess, so that's all right, I guess, but clearly I prefer the version where it doesn't land on the downbeat, so far away from Is there any other setup? I don't like this setup. I really don't like this setup. There is another, there is another. Join, leave, leave. Why does this guy have a Ikari Shinji-kun? profile picture that is cringe sir bro you just posted cringe you are going to lose subscriber so
sir. Yes, sir. I called someone ma'am on uh, Twitter today. I was gonna call him sir, but then I saw, oh, okay, it's a, it's a trans girl, so I'll call him ma'am. iPhone XR. Whom do I want to gun, actually? Let me, hold on. I want to check people's data. Okay, I'll gun Vendetta. Okay, so that's about it. It has a nice um, percussion as well. Uh, Across the Sea has all right percussion, I guess, like in the final chorus and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of cool, I guess, a little bit. Um, number four. Number four. I think I would have to put El Scorcho at number four. It's just kind of hilarious, really. It's a hilarious song. I'm a lot like you, so please. I'm here. I'm waiting. Little think I'd be good for you. And you be good for me. Kind of a hilarious song. And furthermore, let's talk about a Green Day concert in the second verse. And it goes, and it's like, how cool is that? People thought he was being sarcastic there. I don't know if it's because I'm autistic, but I, I, I did not think he was being sarcastic there. I thought he was being genuine. And it turns out I was right. He was serious. So he went into her room read her diary and like when he sings read your diary uh it i like the guitar melody at that part it's like doom, 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 doom. it's nice I think this guy is Mafia, but I'm not sure. So, and sculpture, that's about it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it, really.
Okay. Hell yeah. Got him. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> He's quoting me. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything more to say about El Scorcho. Uh, actually, maybe it's not even the best. Maybe it's not even the fourth best. No, I think it is. I think it is. I'm not sure, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to put it at the fourth best. Uh, fifth best is Tired of Sex. Um has a nice bass line nice melody like do 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 which they play during the verses and a nice uh, guitar melody and a nice yeah that's about it that's about it number six man Pinkerton sucks I'm discovering here Number six would have to be Getchu, I think. Yeah, Getchu is number six. Yeah, I like how it goes like for like a seven eight time signature, or a seven four time signature, I guess. But yeah, this is beginning to hurt. This is beginning. Like it. Yeah, seven four time signature uh, towards the end, and yeah. I'm just fooling around. And it has a decent guitar melody as well. Like, yeah, so it's a pretty good song. Number seven. Why bother? Wait, maybe the good life is number seven. I don't know. Let me think about this for a while. Like, what am I thinking? Like, why? Why? But the good life is probably higher than that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put. Yeah, I don't know what I what I was thinking really. The good life isn't that bad. It really isn't. I think I'm gonna put the good life at number five actually. So I'm redacting the list now pretty badly here. 
because I I'm not really thinking straight. The Good Life is number five. Has a nice um, melody to it. And oh, nice a uh, percussion as well during the verses, like. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it goes like that, but you know, it has a nice thing with the right uh, with the crash symbol there. So yeah, a nice um, you know vocal melodies and everything. A nice guitar melody as well. Uh, so yeah, it gets number five. Tired of sex number six. Get you number seven. Number eight. Why bother? The song is pretty fucking boring. It's repetitive and. Yeah, it's repetitive and freaking repetitive and stupid lyrics. Like, I don't know, it's stupid lyrics. It's like... It's like... This happened to me twice before... It, it's not incel enough. That's my problem. That's my problem. <laughs> and and he makes this dichotomy between sexual attraction and something real. I want to know what something real is, River Weezer. Maybe you could break my heart next summer. Maybe we could even get together. Maybe you could break my heart next summer. It's it's way too optimistic. That's my problem with it. It's fucking stupid. It's so stupid. It's it's way too optimistic. It's it's like it's repetitive. Like the chorus, fucking boring and like. Uh, I, I do appreciate the guitar melody in it though. It's like eccentric, and I like that. Like it's a pretty eccentric song in general, but it, it sucks. Number nine, "Falling for You." This song has like no redeemable qualities. I mean, like, okay, I like the. Hmm. Falling for you. Oh, it's Korean. I thought for sure it was Jap, but no, it's Korean. The intro of to Falling for You is apparently Korean. Well, so he was the mob. He was the mafia. He was a hooker. So let's join a new one. Oh, right, wait, right here. Dum 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 dum. We got Star Lesbian. We got Themis. We got our Themis second. We got Jokaza. We got PPH sixty nine. We got Stark C. We got this one. I don't recognize. Okay, now. Uh, let me just look at Falling For You's lyrics for a while here. Like, it's so stupid! I got a number of irrational fears that I'd like to share with you. Ugh! Old goats like me. This is so dumb. Ugh!
It's so stupid. Ugh, I, I, I actually hate the lyrics to Falling For You. You left your cello here in the basement. Oh, the redhead said you shred the cello. I admired the glowing stars tried to play a tune. Can't believe how bad I suck, it's true. Three chord me? Oh yeah? Ah, oh, I, I actually hate this song so much. Um, the melody is pretty good, I guess, but, like, not really. You know, it sucks. Uh, I kind of like the guitar melody. It has, like, multiple stages of the guitar melody, and, like, the second stage is pretty good. So it's, it's like, it's alright, but not, uh, So I'm bulletproof, huh? I will admit that the uh, tangy guitar noise when he says I'm ready let's do it baby he is like a tangy guitar noise and that's kind of cool but eh, eh, the song really sucks and like at the end of the song there's also some more tangy guitar noise and I kind of like that but uh, I hate the song number 10 butterfly it's it has kind of a nice melody but that's about it it's just pretty quiet and the drumming feels out of place it's, the drumming is awkward and there's no bass line and like just what yeah butterfly not very good okay now I've ranked them all now I'm gonna compare them like Nintendo Capri Sun did so my name is Jonas versus tired of sex obviously tired of sex wins and I don't think I need to explain my reasoning since I've already gone over all these fucking songs in detail now, so that'll be alright. No one else versus Get You. No one else easily wins. I love no one else. So, thus far, it is tied 1-1. One point for debut, one point for Pinkerton. What the fuck? Ooh, that looks kind of interesting. Let's see what happens. Dude, I don't want to join any of these. Can I create my own game? Um, the world has turned and left me here versus no other one. Yeah, I'd guess no other one has to win that one, yeah. Just so, not such a nice guitar melody. Okay, debut one, Pinkerton two. Buddy Holly versus Why Bother? Yeah, I think uh, Buddy Holly has to win that one. Yeah. Nice baseline and everything. Yeah. Okay, this is getting pretty even thus far. Like Nintendo Capri Sun said that it got for him, but then when Nintendo Capri Sun did it in like you know 2017 or whatever it was, it was like Blue Album was winning by quite a lot for him. Okay, looks like I should leave and join this other setup. We'll see what happens. So yeah, debut to Pinkerton 2. Across, wait. Undone versus Across the Sea. Obviously, Across the Sea easily wins that one. Debut 2, Pinkerton 3.
Surf Wax America versus The Good Life. Yeah, The Good Life easily wins that one. Surf Wax America sucks. Debut. Debut two. Pinkerton four. Say it ain't so versus El Scorcho. Say it ain't so easily wins. Say it ain't so is a freaking masterpiece. Debut three, Pinkerton four. Okay, I'm gonna leave and join this one. In the garage versus Pink Triangle. Pink Triangle easily wins. So I'm Mafia. Well, that's great. Three Mafias. Okay, I'll say I'm a gunslinger if someone asks. Ooh. The Seer. What? I don't understand. But okay. Man, this is getting really even, actually. Um, so yeah, Pink Triangle easily wins. Holiday versus Falling For You. I actually think Holiday wins. Yeah. Falling For You just kind of sucks. Yeah, Holiday wins. So, okay, I skipped the eighth uh, count, but um, it is one, two, three, four. How many N are in my store? Okay, um, okay, debut for Pinkerton 5 thus far, so now Pinkerton's is kind of in the lead right now. What do you mean a fellow weeb? Okay, now finally only in dreams versus butterfly. And I have to pick only in dreams. Yeah.
So debut five, Pinkerton five. So it really is tied. It really is. It's tied. This isn't even in the game. Yes, liberty, yes, liberty, 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 liberty. Why are y'all voting for me? I mean, you're right, I am mafia, but come on, man. Why can't you just let the jailer jail me and then I can lie about being a gunslinger? Mmm, pine nuts. I haven't heard of them ever. They look pretty good. Ugh. So, that was my Weezer talk. Why would I whisper to you? Clown. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Why does Dapper have it out for me so bad? <laughs> what? Siri isn't dead. What are you talking about? Siri's not dead. Wait, really? Yeah, no, they don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why is Dapper so savage?
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Couldn't care less. Ah, god damn it. Graveyard participation. You sent me into the underworld. Hell yeah, you did. How can you do that? Oh, you're an exorcist. It wasn't that much. What are you talking about? That It, it was barely anything that happened. Like, the sheriff died. I died. And I was sent into the underworld by Starksea. That's about it. And Revan died because of, like, a, a veg. Why can't I vote on the meeting? Is this like a bug? I'm not part of the graveyard. I'm part of the underworld. A veg. Yeah, what is happening? I, I am really confused, actually. So I don't see how that requires graveyard participation, unless unless she sent me it right now, but well, whatever. I think I'm gonna end this video now, so goodbye. Yep.